hey party people, I'm Tobin. And I'm Abby. Hi guys. I like your party gear, Abby. Thank you. I thought I'd be ready for part two of our block party. Yeah, you're totally killing it. Thank you. Um, you look totally ready. Yeah. Uh, are, are you ready? I think so. If so, we want to see your block party wear. Snap a picture of yourself in your party gear and have your parents tag us at SV Kids on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think since we're both in our party gear and I hope you're in your party gear, let's get some things kicked off with worship. So stand up and get ready to sing, dance, and thank God for all of the things that he's blessed us with. Are you ready, Tobin? Abby, I'm always ready. Oh good, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, okay. Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. Perfect love realized here with you. Come on now. Now the stop is for real, you will never let go, never let go. Oh, it's more than just words, love beyond my control, out of control.
faithful and true. Nobody else compares. There is nobody like you. Amazing. Let's keep jamming and showing Jesus all the love. Let's go. From urban streets to open plains, we are under one name. No one is lost or goes unseen. Cause we're all loved by our king This is nothing ordinary There is power in the name we carry Every nation, every tongue Welcome to the kingdom All the rich, all the poor All the people, all yours We are God
great job, friends. Go ahead, have a seat. So we are in part two mm -hmm. of our block party and we're diving in to what the Bible has to say about friendship. Friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking about two dudes, David and Jonathan. So sit back, relax, and, and check, check this out. out. I did it that time. You did. Good job. Hey, man. How you doing? You got everything? Did you bring them? Uh, you know it. Oh. How about you? Oh. Of course, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> then let's do this thing. All right. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> Woo yeah. All right. <laughs> Build. Oh, yeah. Go. Let's go. Woo. Ow. That's hard and it hurt. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this is how you have a block party? Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this is The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. On this show, John and I hang out here talking together about the world we live in. We learn a little something about God, and then we discover what it means to be human. Man, we do all that? Mm. We're good. I know, and today's no different. We've got a fun day planned, and we're gonna get started with a little game we like to call the $1,000 Triangle. John, show me the money. You don't have the money? I, I spent it all on olives. What? Never mind. Okay, today we're gonna play a little game called the 25, 26, 27, 28 dollar and 31 cents. Woo! Triangle. It's time for the $28.31 Triangle. All right, here's how the game works. I'm going to try and get John to guess the answer on each of these cards. Shouldn't be too tough because the category is famous duos, people or things that go together. John, are you ready to play $28.31 Triangle? You bet I am, Brandon. Then let's play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one, uh, okay, this is something that you write with and something that you write on. Oh, a chisel and stone tablet. <laughs> no, it's a little more modern than that. Oh, a finger and an iPad. No, no, okay, think about this. This is very common. It's something you write with, something you write on. These are two things that go together. They are... The mortal and pestle. No, what? Pass, pass, next uh... one. All right, okay, you can get this one. This is, uh, okay. These are two things that taste great between two slices of bread. Oh, what is anchovies and mayonnaise? No. Oh, oh ketchup and sugar. Uh, uh, no, uh, okay, it's very, it's one of the most famous sandwiches you oh, can think oh, of. Oh, oh, to all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on this SB seed bun. Famous duos. Oh. Pass. Uh, oh my. Uh, Vladimir and Estragon? Yeah. All right, uh, these, uh, okay, these are two of the coolest guys on the planet. Oh, oh who's uh, Thomas Alva Edison, who invented the incandescent light bulb, and Sammy Hagar. No, 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 these two guys, they have a lot of fun every week and help teach people about God and the Bible. Oh, Mel Solomon and Greg. Uh, no, these two guys are the hosts of the so-and-so show. Stephen and Lawson? No. It's the people hosting the show right now. Right now, they're also playing the game, $28.31. Triangle. Uh, they are. I, 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 uh, it's me and you, John. Oh, uh, me and you. Oh, uh, unbelievable. I was so close. You only got one right. But <laughs> who eats peanut butter with jelly? I <laughs> mean, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, man. Hello, my friends. How's it going? Pretty good, Kellen. John didn't know we were a famous duo. <laughs> oh, I thought we were a famous trio. Hey, you're right. That's why I missed it. Yeah. What story do you have for us today? Well, speaking of duos, today I want to talk about one of the most famous duos in history, David and Jonathan. And to help me do that, please welcome the So-and-So Show Players. Mm. Jonathan was the prince of Israel. Hi, I'm Jonathan. And his dad, King Saul, was the very first king of Israel. 
I am king. David was Jonathan's best friend. Hi, I'm David. He killed Goliath. He was a really mean giant. David was a national hero, and everyone loved him. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> and don't tell Saul and Jonathan this, but God had decided that David was going to be the next king of Israel. What'd he say? Uh, I'm just telling the story. Still, Jonathan loved David, and he gave his friend gifts that were good enough for a prince. Here, friend. It's my bow and arrow. Uh, thank you, best friend. <laughs> and my princely tunic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. <laughs> and mm -hmm. <sighs> my favorite pillow, my favorite <laughs> soccer ball. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. There's more to come. And all of the important things. Oh. You'll sleep well with him. Th thank you. This will help you in a jam. Th thank you. And this will always provide the light just the way you want it. Oh, thank you. Jonathan probably didn't give David a lampshade, but you get the idea. They were best friends. Unfortunately, King Saul was jealous of David because everyone liked him so much. So King Saul sort of wanted to... Uh, Kill David. Why does your dad want to kill me? What did I do? Well, he's not going to kill you. He, look, dad tells me everything. He wouldn't keep something like that from me. Maybe he didn't tell you because he knows how close we are. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, oof. Mm. What do you want me to do? Hmm. I'm supposed to eat with the king at the new moon feast tomorrow. Tell them that I couldn't make it. And if he gets mad, then you'll know for sure he's trying to kill me. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Wait, how will I know how your father reacts? Hmm. 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 I have an oddly over-elaborate plan that might just work. Mm -hmm. You see that stone out there? Yes. I want you to wait by that stone. That's After the feast, I'll come out with a servant, and I'll shoot three arrows into the field. Three. And if everything is okay, I'll say... Look, the arrows are on this side of you. And if I find out that dad wants to kill you, I'll say, look, the arrows are far, far beyond you. And if I say that, then you definitely need to run. Okay? All right? Got it? Okay. Wait, why wouldn't you just send your servant no, out there no, to no, tell no. me during- There's no time for discussion, okay? The game is in foot. Let's go, go on. Okay. Uh. The plan was in place. Everything was set. David had chosen not to eat with the king at the new moon feast. The only question was, how would King Saul react? Well, on the second night of the feast, King Saul noticed something was missing. Son? Yes, father? Where? Yes. Is? Yes. Cuts up! Oh, um, uh, it's, uh, all right here. All right, it's right here. Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> and, uh, thank you. I believe it's pronounced catch up, last I heard. Ah, huh. yeah, well, <laughs> the more you know. Ah, uh, also, where? Yes, Father? Is? Yes, the, the, the mustard, um, it's right, right, right there. <laughs> yes. uh, thank you, thank yeah. you. No problem. Mm. There's a little red, a little yellow, makes a very mm. happy mm -hmm. fellow. Very good now. <laughs> mm. Oh, son. Mm. <clears throat> yes, father? Uh, where's David? Um, he wanted to go visit his family, so I let him go. What? Uh, now, do you not realize that as long as he is alive, you will never be king? David must die! He but he hasn't done anything! <gasps> king Saul was so angry, he grabbed a spear and threw it at his own son. I'm going to throw this spear at you. No, no. You 
best no. run! No. Your no. best run! Uh, not, not a pickle spear, an actual spear. But whatever. The spear missed Jonathan. And Jonathan had all the information that he needed. King Saul wanted to kill David. So it was time to send David the signal. Come, unnamed servant from the Bible. Let's shoot some arrows into the field for no mysterious reason whatsoever. Shall I make the sound, sire? Oh, shall you make the sound? <laughs> Don't you always make the sound? Very Thank good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Woo! Excellent marksmanship, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Very good. Okay. Now, run out into the field and collect those arrows. Uh, but they're just they're just right there. Go! Okay. Hurry! Run fast! Don't stop! The arrows are far beyond you. I feel like you're not even looking at me. Just go, run. Have I gotten there yet? Okay, okay, okay. I'm there. Right. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> Yahtzee. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very well, lad. You take those weapons back to town. Okay. When the servant left, David came out of hiding and met his friend on the field. <laughs> One last time. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Promise me you'll always be kind to my family, even after my father is gone. I promise. In the name of the Lord, you and I have made a promise to be friends. It's not only a promise between us, but between our children after us. Yes. Go in peace. By protecting David that day, Jonathan saved the life of the future king of Israel. But more importantly than that, he saved his friend. The end. How about a hand for the so-and-so show players? Uh, wow, what an incredible story. I know, Jonathan was a prince, so by saving David, he was basically giving up the throne. And that's risking amazing. his life. I mean, Jonathan really laid everything on the line for his friend. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what friends do, isn't it? They love each other. They're patient and kind. They protect each other and never give up on each other. It's, it's like the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Corinthians. Love never fails. Never? Uh, I'm not sure I'm that good of a friend. No offense. No, I, I'm with you. It's true. I think if we really want to love like a true friend, we're going to need God's help. He knows more about love than anyone. Well, think about it. He sent his son, Jesus, to die for us so that we would know how important we are to him. Talk about laying everything on the line. Yeah, that's so true. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye, Kellen. So, if God went out of his way to show us how important we are to him, and if Jonathan went out of his way to show David how important he was, what, what does that mean for us? Don't ask me, ask them. All right, reveal the question. How can you show your friends they're important? Yeah, yeah, what are some ways you can show your friends they're important to you? Yeah, uh, maybe give them a wrapped apple. A wrapped apple? Now they're healthy. Or maybe spend time with them. Oh, you don't even have to wrap the apple if you don't want to. Just talk about it together. How can you show your friends they are important? Y you know, you've never even once given me an apple. I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. Not even mashed or sauced. By, you would want a mashed apple? For, Absolutely. Like Haven't you ever had a mashed apple? What are you doing, Brandon? <laughs> well, I'm just taking a stroll around the block. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, you know what this is? Eh? It's a chip off the old block. Oh, 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 oh.
Hey, stop being a stumbling block. I'll knock your block off, blockhead. <gasps> you got any more? No, I, I've got writer's block. So much of that passage defines David and Jonathan's friendship. Regardless of the danger, Jonathan protected David. No matter the cost, Jonathan didn't look out for his own self-interest. Even though he'd been chosen as king ahead of Jonathan, David didn't brag or act pridefully. Do you have friendships like this? Are you the Jonathan to anyone? Putting that person before yourself? even when it's at a cost to you, or maybe you're there in times where you take the role of David, having a position where you could brag about it and you wanted to, but chose to humble yourself instead. Remember, friends love each other, and love's not a feeling, it's an action. That's right. So think about your friendships, be thankful for them, and then ask God to help you love well as a good friend by putting others first. Now let's think about this key question for today. How can you show your friends that they're important? Sure, you might not have a royal coats and belts to give away, uh, but you do have time you can spend with them or a listening ear to offer or even a controller to share. Regardless of how you show your friends that they're important, we need to remember to actually show them that they're important. That's so true. So let's pray and thank God for the amazing friends he's put in our lives. Let's go. Jesus, thank you for our friends. They're there in times of trouble, um, and we're so grateful that you've put them in our lives. Jesus, we pray that you would help us to love them really well, just like David loved Jonathan and just like Jonathan loved David. Help us to be the best friends that we can be to our friends. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for part two of the block party. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next week for all the fun, all the friendship. Bye. Bye. God. You know, Lane, he's been here a few weeks and he's cool and all, but he's just really quiet. Anyway, everybody started talking about getting together at Sky Zone for a BOGO day. That's buy one, get one free. I was in the kitchen when we all started setting it up. Everybody texted that they were in. Flynn was in, Elliot, Q was super excited. Even Aiden was coming. We all were psyched. But in the middle of the group chat, I got this alert. Lane's birthday party. It was today. I don't know if his mom didn't know how to let anybody know, or if something went wrong, but nobody was gonna be there. God, there was something that just wasn't right. Lane hadn't really made many friends yet. I mean, we had talked, but I've never been over to his house or anything. So I asked my friends if we could change plans. At first, they weren't sure. But after a few texts, everybody was in. We realized we could do Sky Zone anytime. God, Lane's place was pretty cool. Games, cake, we actually had a lot of fun. I think Lane was really surprised. It was good to kind of get Lane into the group. And next week, we all go to Sky Zone. And Lane's coming too. Thanks God for showing me how to be a good friend to all my friends, Robbie. Jesus, you have been so faithful. Jesus, you have been so true. I will be forever thankful. Cause I never had a friend like you. Help me to be who you've been to me. To everyone I see. Let us love one another. Oh, 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 oh.
darkest valley You with me on the mountain top I'm thankful that you never leave me And that your love will never stop Help me to be who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another with our love like no other Yeah, it's the way you love us, God Never turn away, you are with us every day Yeah, that's the way you love us, God Your love is always been beginning to end There's never been a better friend For being